My mother worked for a primary care doctor as a medical assistant for years. And so when I was a young boy and she had to care for me, she worked on evenings and I spent a lot of time in the doctor's office. And so I uh, got used to that sort of environment and realized I liked that sort of field and decided that I'd go into medicine. I was a college football player and unfortunately, or fortunately I guess, I spent more time uh, with the medical staff, with the orthopedic surgeons and with the trainers and with the physical therapist than I actually did on the field uh, due to injuries and realized that I could use my interest in medicine and my interest in sports and uh, felt that I could relate to people with sports injuries and it seemed to be just a natural connection. Most of my treatments are um, around the knee and shoulder. I take care of a fair amount of elbow problems and a little bit of ankle trauma, but predominantly I take care of uh, problems with the knee and shoulder. So it may be if somebody tears a tendon, their rotator cuff, or tears a ligament in their knee, their ACL, or um, some of the other structures around their knee, perhaps injure their cartilage or uh, other ligaments or soft tissues, uh, most of the time um, that's what I'm treating. But I do try to treat all the problems that we'll see in active people. Most of the techniques that we use in sports medicine and a lot of the things that I learned in my fellowship and, uh, and that uh, we learned from sort of having a sports medicine approach is that we try to do things minimally invasive with the least amount of tissue damage and then try to get people back as quickly and as safely as possible um, and that's sort of the expertise that's a little nuance and it's not so cut and dry for each patient uh, people are different ages and different activity levels and different capabilities and so part of the skill that a sports medicine doctor myself tries to bring to the table is just that being able to figure out exactly how to get those people back to where they want to be uh, the least uh, invasive way and uh, as quickly as, as safely possible. I think it's real important uh, to listen to the, what the patient's talking about and try to figure out exactly what they want. You can't set out on a trip if you don't know your destination, you're not going to get there. So it's real important if I want the the patient and I to get to the right place, we got to know where that place is. And it takes a little time to figure that out sometimes. I take a lot of effort in trying to um, not only have my patients understand what the plan is, I communicate with them uh, through email, uh, I communicate with them through the phone, we communicate through handouts and literature that I've provided, and similarly on my website, uh, much of this literature is available for my patients so that they understand what's needed of them. And particularly uh, post-operatively, um, I will uh, call my patients the night of surgery and then uh, the week after surgery when they come for a visit. I like to review all the information, the do's and don'ts. It's very critical that they know exactly what they need to do. My greatest success is when, um, and this is gonna sound weird I guess, but it's when a patient actually uh, forgets about me when my patient forgets they even had surgery. So it, it's not uncommon for a patient to come back to me to see me for a different problem. And I'll, let's say they come in for their shoulder and I'll ask them, well, how, how's your knee? And they don't even remember that I operate on their knee. And they can't even find the scars or they're so back to their life that they don't even know they had surgery. And that, that to me is the sort of most special uh, thing that I, I can think of and the most rewarding. Um, uh, throughout the years I've had patients like that and I've had patients who've had really tough times and maybe we've had a little rockier road in the past uh, as we've recovered from their surgery and to see them um, get better, get on with their lives and then come back to me at a later date and not even remembering how difficult things had been at times uh, is, is probably the most rewarding thing that I see in my practice.